Hello and welcome. Finally, a new version of Shotcut. Let's take a look at the changes. Now the next feature, oh man, I am excited about that. Let's go to filters, go to audio filters. There is now pitch. Let's enable it. How's it looking, Barley? We should have about 10 minutes. All right, let's have some fun. Let's shift it by one. How's it looking, Barley? We should have about 10 minutes. All right, so here you have your chipmunk effect. Can we have negative numbers? Minus one, looks like yes. Nice, this is a pretty good effect actually, I have to say. The actual purpose of this is to compensate when you speed up or slow down footage, but if you want to do audio stuff, hey, this is great too. Let's go for 0 0.5. How's it looking, Barley? We should have about 10 minutes. Well, well that's perfect. Round one. All systems go! Yeah, you, go! <laughs> 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 yeah, this is pretty cool. All right, let's try it out for its actual purpose. So if we go to view properties, yeah, properties. Let's speed this up here, speed. Let's make it uh, half as fast, 0 0.5. And now let's go back to the filters and set it to zero and see what happens. So let's see, what is it trying to compensate? All right, so that sounds uh, slowed down, of course. So let's speed it up. Double. I might be using it wrong. Indeed I am. Let's uh, set it to 0 0.5 instead. How's it looking, Barley? This is a pretty good... We should have about 10 minutes. This is a quite a good audio stretch, actually. Well, that's perfect. Nice. Only one! <laughs> Sounds a bit drunk. Hey, matches that bottle though. This is exciting. So it turns out in uh, properties, we can also rename clips now. Oh uh, yeah, there we go. Let's rename this to delicious. I'm pressing tab to confirm. Yo, yo, nice. For complex projects, this might be interesting. Oh, so this is interesting. You can now use videos for transitions. So if we create a transition here, check it out. Just the standard one. But if we click it and go to video custom, we can now pick a video. For example, this one by John Ray from a collection of videos. So check out the description. I'm gonna be putting uh, the entire changelog and uh, the links in there. This is really cool. Basically, this enables more community content use. This is awesome. This is so awesome. Man, this version is so awesome. This is a pretty cool transition. Interesting how it kind of doesn't work correctly with the slowdown clip, but at least it works, at least it doesn't crash. So this is, this is awesome. How's it looking, Barley? In settings preview scaling, you can reduce the preview resolution. Let's go for 360. F7 for smallest preview. If I press F6, F7, F6, F7, I can actually see the difference. F6, F7, no preview scaling, 360 preview scaling. What is the purpose of this? The purpose of this is that you can preview effects. For example, this shake effect here. It makes the video playback a bit shaky. If I go to 360 preview scaling, it should be more performant. But currently, the preview scaling actually might reduce the performance. It is planned for April of this year to have a version that has low resolution proxies, and then it should definitely help the performance. Also, when you try to export a video, if you go to advanced, enable use preview scaling, then you can also use the preview scaling setting to get a low resolution video. Now this you can benefit from immediately. Let's render the original version, so F6, as you can see, we have now no preview scaling. Let's export this. Okay, and now let's enable preview scaling of 360p and export again. Okay, well, I expected much bigger difference. Not sure why the difference is so small, but you can see that the uh, smaller render is a bit faster. 1 minute 10 seconds for the normal render, 0 minutes 52 seconds for the preview scaling 360p render. All right, a new feature also is in view scopes video vector. Check this out. We can see clearly this is a more warm tones video. And the developer writes, note that the graticule on this is non-traditional, inspired by Alexis Van 
Hurkman, and there's an interesting blog post linked to that. I'm going to link that in the description. Okay, so then there's also some new export presets, right? So we have new exports in audio. We can now use ALAC. I'm not even familiar. I guess this is a lossless Apple format. Okay, there's FLAC, which is a cool format. I love to use that for you know for field recordings and stuff. And then there's a free and intermediate ones. There's DNXHR. HQ and then ProRes HQ and the previously known ProRes was renamed. Might be interesting to some people working with professional footage. And finally, there is a new language available, Arabic. Let's try it out. Looking good. Back to English it is. So these are the news for version 20.02.17. Subscribe for more updates. Check out my tutorials for Shortcut if you haven't yet. And hope to see you in the comments or in the next video. Until then, ciao. We should have about 10 minutes. Well, that's perfect.